well, we got started in, in 2017 in July. We started, we did our first cake for a wedding in July, 2017, and we've been plugging away ever since. And now we're doing hundreds of cakes per year as well as dessert spreads and the midnight lunches and even the meal service itself we've started to do as well. And one of the things that we love to do is the, the, the parties for the the bridal party supper the, the night before we've got that intimate cafe it's a lovely setting the lights come down we can bring in live music and we do table service um fine dining we take you to a different place a lot of people say it feels like uh, a restaurant in 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 a hip scene in new york or something like that we, we transform the space we we make it feel like somewhere else and and people love it and uh yeah it's just something we're really passionate about doing from end to end all the all the aspects of it and then yeah right through to anniversaries and celebrations and all the other things too it's a little bit weird but we i really like to get to know them because i think that when a bride and groom are talking and interacting when they're talking about something that they're, they're already engaged on and they're so emotional and passionate about, you get to see a side of that couple that you would never see in a stranger otherwise. When you just meet someone and it's like, hey, what's your name? Todd, Todd, nice to meet you, I'm James. You never get to know those little subtle interactions until you're years into a relationship. And so you get to jump into the space and see this, this intimate connection between this bride and groom as they're passionately describing what they want to see on that day. And that's a really cool thing to be a part of. Is when you get to work through and develop that plan, work with those, that, that couple, and then to see that moment where, you know, they're, they're going to laugh when they're pushing the cake in each other's face. But when they do that, um, that eye roll, the food gasm eye roll, when they taste the cake, um, that's awesome. Or having people come up to you and just saying how, how food, how they, they didn't realize how food could make a, an occasion so memorable. And those are the truly, those moments where uh, you just go, that's why we do this. We are passionate about finding the right combination of things that are going to bring the event all of to make the event the special day the memorable day that people are looking for so when we're working with another vendor we we aren't looking for someone who makes all kinds of concessions on quality or um not following through with things we're looking for people who have a good track record who have who have demonstrated their ability to understand client needs and then who are willing to work with other vendors, understanding that the goal here is not self gratification or self glorification. It's to make everybody at that event go, wow, this was an incredible evening. And when you can find vendors who work together in, in unison like that, knowing that people might not remember your name, but they're going to remember the music that night. They might not remember your name, but they're going to remember the decorations that night. And you know what? They still know the bride and groom. We can get out of the way. We can let that event happen and be an incredible evening. And then later on, someone's going to ask about it. If you've done it right, you do not need to put your name in front of everybody every three seconds. I love autumn because the type of color blindness that I have, I'm I can actually see a lot of the colors. So I love the way the leaves change. I love, I will actually sit out on our deck here where I am right now um, and I will watch leaves fall and I will watch the, the moss grow on the logs that we have for our campfire. I'm, that, I love it. It's the best time. But I do have to say a very close second would be copious amounts of white fluffy snow in the middle of winter. I, there's just something magical about it. So I got two favorite times. That's like half the year. <laughs> Thank you.